Joseph Lungu is no ordinary person. At 25 years old, he has earned several ingenuity awards. We're trying to, to prove to the world or to prove to say in Zambia, yes, we can build our own vehicle. He has a passion for fast cars, but his ability to build his own car from scrap metal is remarkable. He recently unveiled his latest automobile at a trade show in Lusaka. Lungu has also designed a safety and security device using a cell phone to monitor overloading passenger service vehicles. This is a, this is a model for the vehicle. I had to come up with a system whereby when, once the vehicle is overloaded, the system automatically switches off the engine of the vehicle. At the same time, the owner will receive a text message, a video, phone call to alert the owner that the vehicle is overloaded. He was the winner of the 2017 Zambia Innovation Awards. His innovations are generating a buzz even though they are still at prototype level. I could make a project for fun, but I changed my mind. I was like, let me make something that the entire world will be able to, to use and the entire world will, be, will benefit from, or from what I'm going to make through my brains and through, uh, through my hands. Joseph works at home, where he has turned his family's backyard into a workshop. He calls Joe Tech Garage. I had to make a touch force sensor which is able to detect a force of a human being. If someone parks the vehicle and activates the system, the moment you apply a force, this system is able to trigger and send the signal to the owner's personal mobile phone. He uses his engineering skills to design all sorts of electronic products, from a personalized ATM machine to a custom sports car to his award-winning car security system. We have people that will be installing the system on your car. Mm. So once they install, they will ensure that they, yes, they configure your number in the vehicle system so that it only alerts you the owner of that particular vehicle. With his innovation, experts say this could be a game changer. For a kid whose dream is to dream big, he believes with the right support, it can become a reality. Paul Ndiho, VOA News, Washington.